Now, it was one of the most memorable images of the past week. An Egyptian protester standing in front of a line of tanks, waving his arms in the air before he is shot. Ahmed Hashim Rashwan is his name, and there were reports that he had been killed in the incident last Friday in the northern city of Ismailia. In fact, he survived, and this is his story. I was shot twice, once in the leg and once in the stomach. We were praying at the mosque and then heard gunshots, so we went outside to see what was happening. I never imagined the army would shoot at us, but they did and the man next to me dropped to the ground. Too worried to turn back that I'd end up like him, I decided to raise my arms to show the army that we're peaceful and unarmed, but sadly they didn't stop. They shot me. They can't break us. We've legitimately taken to the streets. We haven't been joking for the last three years. We've done a lot since May 25th. Our achievements were meant to be fruitful. Yes, I wasn't happy with the Muslim Brotherhood's performance, but at least we had achieved something, which the army is now forcing us to lose. We paid for those tanks and the arms they use. The Egyptian people have given everything they can to this country, and this is how they repay us.